Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I will do the comparison of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet to the newly released Asus Detachable Chromebook CM3 or CM3000. I will refer to this tablet as the CM3 and the Lenovo one as Duet for the comparison here. I wanted to do the full review of the Asus one, but I thought maybe doing a comparison with the Lenovo Duet will be more reasonable here then you guys also can clearly see what's the advantage and disadvantage of each of these devices. So, hope you guys will enjoy this video and uh, for more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe. So, let's get started with the software. These both devices run Chrome OS and also they are in the latest version of a staple version. The Chrome OS compared to the Android tablets and iPads and also Microsoft like Windows devices have some like advantages and disadvantages. For example, compared to Android devices, I also made a video. These devices run like full Chrome browser and also they run Linux application. They also run Android application and they have a better file manager and also the Google Drive is better integrated in these Chrome OS devices. You usually get also software updates regularly, like every few weeks, you get some like bug fix and also maybe minor new features. And if you see it also in the settings here, both of these devices are supported till June 2028. Also the Duet one, also the Asus CM3 one. So till June 2028, you will get regular updates, but I know the performance of these devices and compared to the Android tablets and iPad, they're not that powerful. So I don't think that you can use these devices till 2020, 2028, to be honest, because the, I think the CPU will get old and your device will be really laggy. So you can expect three to five years, maybe let's say, uh, usage of these devices before they start to get old and the battery also will have a problem and also the CPU. But as I said, they have advantages to have the Chrome OS and disadvantages, like they don't have the features and also power or also the writing experience, like the stylus that the Android tablets or iPads have. Now I want to start with the design and build quality. I think both of them have a decent design and the build quality. That's a Duet one and that's the Asus CM3. It also has a nice dark gray color. And I like the color of it. It's a little bit heavier than the Duet one. But when you attach the keyboard and also the stand to the Asus CM3, it is lighter than the Duet one. That's also interesting to notice. As you guys see also in the pictures, like the differences is a little bit low, but Asus one, when it's covered and also with the stand and also with the keyboard, it's lighter than the Duet. It's a little bit thicker because it also has the pen here inside the like a body, so you can take it out. It's a little bit hard to take this pen out, but in general, it's also good to have it. And as you guys saw that also when I tried to take it out, the screen went on. One thing that I noticed also in the body of this device that the keys here are a bit smaller compared to the Duet, but they are more tactile so you feel like more clicky and i like it actually it's better in general and that was it for me the problem is also with the duet also with the asus one when you're trying to flex you can hear the noise it's the same thing with the duet so the build quality could get better in the duet is a little bit less so about the ports the Asus one has the USB-C port and also headphone jack and also you can see the light here it shows that the device is on and it has a pen it has the speakers microphones and also the bottoms here for turn on and turn off and the volume control and bottom you have this pin for attach the keyboard and the back you have a camera one single camera and the front you have also one single camera and it also has a light it shows that the camera the front camera is on for the security reasons on the duet everything is similar only the headphone jack is missing here and instead of the headphone jack you get a dongle inside of the box for the lenovo duet I will now talk about the back stand. One of the main features of this Asus CM3 is this two-way back stand. It means that you can use it in the portrait mode and also in the landscape mode. 
That's also fun to use it in the portrait mode, actually, especially you can connect like mouse and keyboard and you have a really tall screen. In the Lenovo one, you only have this landscape mode and also works a little bit differently. As you can see in the Lenovo one, the angle is, uh, I would say, 130, 40 degrees. But when I compare it to the uh, Asus one, here you can only reach to 90, 90 degrees, which is a shame because I usually like to use the Lenovo one in the desktop mode, especially when I'm using it with a pen with more than 90 degrees. But I will show how it looks like on the device now. I will attach it here. They both have also this cloth here. They, they feel both nice. But one thing I realized about the magnets of the Asus one, that in the middle here, you guys can see there is no magnets, a little bit loose. And also sometimes it doesn't attach properly. It is a little bit weaker. And you guys clearly see that I had this issue also a couple of times that it stands like this. So you need to press it and in the middle, it's a bit loose. So I'm not sure how, how it will last in the long run. Like it doesn't feel that strong compared to the Lenovo one, but the Lenovo one works also differently. They stand and the magnets are separate here. So the magnets in the back here and it stands in the landscape mode like this. And I will do now the Asus one. You guys see that. And in the Asus one, I cannot go more than this degree, but in the Lenovo one, you guys clearly see that if you have a pen, you can, it's also comfortable to use this like this. And also in the Asus one, you can do it portrait, which is also fun to use, as I said. You can use the stand and also you can also adjust the angle. So bit. let's talk about the keyboard here. I like the keyboard on the Asus one because it, the key travel is better and you need to press it. It has a better feeling when you're typing compared to the Lenovo one. The Lenovo one is too shallow and also the spacing in the Asus one is a little bit better. None of these has a backlight, which is a shame, but also in the Asus one, you get this ego lift as the Asus calls it, like a small a slight angle here. You get the same feature in the Microsoft Surface devices and it gives a little bit more twin one feeling where in the Lenovo one, you get like a feeling that a tablet is connected to a keyboard. This echo lift, this like angle also helps you when you're writing. And about the trackpad, that's one of the negative things about the Asus one because it's loud. It's a little bit bigger, the trackpad, the surface you have, but it's loud. It's louder than the Lenovo one. So when I'm using this, I get a little bit annoyed because of this noise. And one thing about the Asus one, which is also positive, in the back you have the same material. It's not the case in the Lenovo one. Here you also don't have a magnet, so it moves the keyboard cover. But in the Asus one, you have a slight magnet and nothing moves, so it's a good uh, cover and also it doesn't scratch your screen if you don't have a screen protector. But I will generally give the keyboard positive to the Asus and the trackpad because it's loud and this loudness a little bit bothers me, especially if you want to be silent and use this device, it will annoy other people around you. Let's talk about the screen. The Asus CM3, as you guys see that, it has 10.5 inch screen size. It has also a little bit larger bezels compared to the Lenovo one. The Lenovo one is 10.1 inch and the bezels are a little bit smaller. One, they're both full HD screen, but one main difference about this screen is the coloring. And in the Asus one, you get a little bit yellow shift. And in the Lenovo one, you have a little bit blue shift. In the beginning, I didn't like the Asus one, but I get used to it. But now I like the Asus one more than the Lenovo one. So I think the Asus one has a better screen. And also this yellow shift makes everything also brighter. And it compensates for this lower brightness because the Asus one has 320 nits and the Lenovo one has 400 nits. So Lenovo one can get a bit uh, brighter but none of them are good for outside work. So if you're under the like direct sunlight, you will not work, you cannot work also with the Lenovo one. It's really hard to see the screen, but inside they both work perfect. So this difference of the brightness is not that important if you're going to mostly work inside. 
but I like the Asus one's larger screen and also this yellow shift on the screen and the full HD resolution a little bit more than the Lenovo one. One more thing about the Lenovo one that I have this matte screen protector so it's not as glossy as the Asus one but if I take the this screen protector it will also be the similar glossy feeling as the Asus. So let's move to the performance. First I will show the Geekbench results for both of these devices. It's a Geekbench 5 and for a single core for both of them you have 301 here and 302 so they're similar maybe if I run it again it will be a little bit different also and for the multi-core if I move them you guys clearly see that it's 1439 for the Asus CM3 and 1431 for the Lenovo Duet so difference is there's actually no difference they have almost the same CPU here. It's just different naming for these devices. So if I open the Chrome browser where I had the tablet comparison here, you guys clearly see that in the processor, the Asus one has this MediaTek 8183 and the Lenovo Duet has this MediaTek P63. They are actually the same processors as you guys also see from the benchmark results and if you want to compare these benchmark results to another android tablets it's really close to what you can find in the samsung galaxy tab uh, s6 Lite. so that's the range but this uh, s6 Lite will feel a little bit more faster because it only runs android and these devices run Chrome, they run full Chrome browser, they run Android, and also they can run Linux, so they're more a little bit heavier. So that's why you will feel a little bit more laggier compared to the S6 Lite here. And generally, when I compare them next to each other, the performance is exactly the same. Asus one is slightly responsive because I used the Duet for more than six months now. So that's why it's a little bit got a little bit slower and that I could see that when I'm opening an application, the Asus one maybe is one second or less than one second when I'm opening a game, which is, needs a lot of like uh, loading of the data, one second or less than that is a little bit faster. But I'm sure in half a year, the Asus one will feel exactly the same as the Duet one. Let's talk about the pen support and the writing experience. The Asus CM3 comes with this stylus inside the, the body. And as you guys see, when I'm taking out the pen, this uh, message pops up with the stylus tools here. This pen also has these pins here to charge it inside of the device. So you don't need to worry about the battery here. That's not the case with the Lenovo one. Lenovo one doesn't come with a pen. You have to buy it separately. You can buy the Lenovo pen for less than, let's say, 40 bucks or 40 euros, or you can buy the Penovo pen, which is one of my favorite pens here. And if I want to compare the Penovo one to the Asus pen, I can say that I like them both, actually. I actually like the uh, tip and also the writing experience a little bit better on the Asus CM3 and this is stylus. However, there is one issue to make it perfect and that's the form factor and the size here which you cannot change because of it should be small to be able to put it inside a device. Because of this thickness of the Penovo one, you have a really nice grip here. When you're writing, you feel really nice and you have a really control and your handwriting also gets better that's not the case with this pen here because it's thin you don't have a nice grip and that's a little bit moves when you try to write so your writing is also affected with that so i prefer in general the writing experience of the penovo pen but this pen has the best latency so it's really responsive this asus one so that's a really it's better than the Penovo one. Also. I now try to write on the Asus CM3 using the Asus USI pen to show you guys how it feels to write with this pen. It's a really responsive pen. Actually, I'm surprised that it's really good. You guys also clearly can't see any delay here. 
and I like it. The problem, as I said, is the grip here, so you don't have that much a good grip. And also it weighs just five grams, so it's also light to hold in your hand for long period. I want to show you guys the pressure sensitivity of the Asus US iPen and show you guys how it works. I will try to press it hard, take it, press it hard, take it, press it hard. You guys clearly said the lines works really good. Actually, this is one of the best pens that I had as a how the pressure sensitivity works and also there is really small lag here compared to the pen oval one now i'm trying to with the pen oval pen press it take it press it take it you guys it's not that easy to make a really thin line similar to the asus one so if you ask me which one of these pens are better for drawing i will say asus one is better for drawing because you have really good control to make a really thin lines or the particular line it works really good i'm also surprised how good this works the only problem i have is the grip here if it had a better grip it's a little bit rounder maybe but they are also limited because of the form factor here but this is a really really good let's talk about the battery quality and the charging now both of these devices have the same battery capacity it's around 7000 for the Lenovo Duet and 7040 for the Asus CM3 so you should get expect the same battery life of around 10 hour the differences are in the power adapter which is included in the box the Asus one comes with the 45 watt fast charging and the Lenovo one only comes with 10 watt which is not a fast charging I try to charge these of these both of these devices with this 45 watt and in both of these devices as you guys see from the images in one hour I could reach from 0 to 50 percent and from in order to fully charge it it lasts around three hours for both of these devices so Asus one itself as a fast charging feature doesn't have anything superior compared to the Lenovo Duet one the difference is this power adapter which is included inside of the box so if you have at home a like fast charging adapter you can use it also for the duet and you will have the same experience one more thing about this indicator the battery indicator on the side of this device you guys can see that in the asus one you can it's more visible also you can see it also from the images that in the duet one you don't see the light that properly but they work also differently in the Asus one, this gets also shows that the device is on and also when it's fully charged, it also stays white. In the Lenovo one, it's a little bit different. The light that here, when it's turned on, it's not turned off actually at all. When you're low battery, it gets orange. And when you're charging, it's blue and it's fully charged, then it gets also green. So you have a little bit more color shift to realize what's happening. That's not the case with the Asus one. You have only white and orange. When orange is, it's also this charging. Now I want to talk about the speaker quality and also the headphone quality because I noticed also the difference there. First, I will run a sample in the Asus CM3 here. This is a free music in YouTube with no copyright. I will now run it on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. I will run this also one more time here in the Asus one. Now I will shift to the Lenovo Duet for the last one.
so as you clearly hear from the uh, like audio comparison here in my opinion the audio is objective in my opinion the asus one is a little bit louder than the lenovo one as you guys also see on the picture i measured the uh, loudness of these devices with the application that i had on the phone but there's something about the quality of the sound that it's a little bit hard to get it from this video I like the quality of the sound from the speakers on the Lenovo do it better. The problem with the Asus one that it feels like it's a little bit like a hollow. It means that like, like it comes from a can kind of. If you had a speaker on a can, you feel like there's a hollow a space there and you get that feeling also in the Asus CM3 here. So for me, if I'm listening to something, when I'm watching to something, I like the speakers on the Lenovo Duet. But when we talk about the headphone audio jack quality, Asus one is much, much better. The Asus one also comes with the audio jack and a headphone jack here, so you can connect it there. The Lenovo one has this dongle, and I think this dongle also reduces the audio quality. I'm not sure, but for me, the Asus one, when I'm using with the headphone, it has a really good quality. So. Uh, that's also a huge difference between these devices when you use a lot the headphones and also the, use the audio jack you will have a better experience using the uh, asus cm2 so now let's talk about the cameras both of these devices have a 2 megapixel front camera and 8 megapixel rear camera or back camera i feel like the front camera on the Lenovo Duet is slightly better and also in the pictures that I made you can see it also the differences here I like the picture from the Lenovo Duet better and I think it performs better in the video calls also although as a megapixel they're similar but the performance in the front camera is a slightly better on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet in the back camera however in the sample that I made here in the pictures you can clearly see that the back camera of the uh, Asus CM3 performs slightly better in the comparison here with the light. You can clearly see that. When I now change the camera here, the back camera, you guys also see the quality in the back camera. And you guys clearly see that the Asus one is also slightly lighter than compared to the uh, Lenovo Duet one. And that also makes a better pictures. So. Front camera, I like the Duet. Back camera, I like the Asus CM3, but none of them also is good. So don't forget that they are not a good cameras here. One more thing about the Asus one, because of this two-way stand, you can use it also with the video calls, the portrait mode. In this case, you have a more wider screen and wider angle, and you can see more of your body and the video calls. It's nice actually, but the problem is when you're focusing exactly on the center of the like a screen, your eyes are a little bit off from the camera. So this gets worse in the portrait mode compared to the landscape mode. So I attached the Asus detachable Chromebook CM3 using the USB-C port to my USB-C monitor. It's a Dell U2520D monitor here. You guys see that in the HD resolution, it's a possibility to get a 60 Hz, similar to the normal Chromebook Duet. When I go to the full HD resolution, you guys see that it drops again to 24 Hz, which was also the case in the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. And that's the problem with it. Then it gets a little bit laggy here. So it's not responsive that much. So the situation is similar to the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. So if you guys want to see how it responds, look for my other video where I showed it exactly how it works with the Lenovo Chromebook. I want to talk about the tablet mode now and how was my experience when using these devices as a tablet. It's nice that the Asus one has this portrait mode so you can open an arc document and read it in this portrait mode and it's also useful. But I like the Duet one a little bit better for two main reasons. One is lighter, so in the tablet mode, you have to hold it longer in your hand. So it's really important to be light. And also with the thinner bezels, it also gives a better feeling. And also the second reason, it's because of the problem that I had with the 
Asus one, when I am holding this device, especially it's heavier, so you can hold it from the side, but usually you put your ha like hands below the device for more support like this. But because these are like a little bit edgy here, it feels a little bit uncomfortable to hold it for a long period. That's not the case with the Lenovo one. It's more round in these areas and edges, so you don't have this uh, like edge and sharpness, so it doesn't bother you to hold it like this. And I felt that, especially when I was using the Asus one, look like this, like I had like a small pain on my hand. So you have to hold it like this, which is not that natural because you need some support after a while to feel a bit comfortable on your hands. So in general, tablet mode, I like the Duet a little bit better. In the desktop mode, it's other way around. I like the Asus CM3 better because of the keyboard, because in desktop mode, you need to use the keyboard a little bit more and the screen size because it's bigger. And also with this ergo lift, with this angle of the keyboard, it feels more like a two-in-one device where the Lenovo one looks like a tablet attached to the keyboards. So that's a little bit different here. The keyboard is better here. The screen is larger, so you have better, more screen ratio to work on. And the trackpad is also larger, but it's a little bit loud here. So if you have a mouse or something, you can also work without no problem using the Asus CM3. One more thing about the Asus CM3 is that you can use the portrait mode using the Bluetooth mouse or Bluetooth keyboard, then you will be in the desktop mode. So it's also fun to use it. Now I'm in the verge, I can go to the YouTube, I can play this music in the background, I can also make it louder and also using the shortcut that I have on the keyboard. Now I can go to the Google Docs here, I can type something here. You guys can see everything works perfectly. I can also have a text here, this is a test, and everything was perfect. And it's also a little bit fun to use this in the portrait in the desktop mode. Now I want to talk about accessories that you can use with Chromos devices, especially with the Lenovo Duet and the Asus CM3 here. You can use wide range of Bluetooth devices, for example, the Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboards, Bluetooth controller, Bluetooth headphones. You can use the USI pens as these devices support this USI stylus. Now you have also some options, and in my opinion, the Penoval USI pen or this Andana USI pen performs the best. I also showcase how the Asus uh, USI pen works, which comes with the device. It also performs good. The problem with it just is the grip because of the dimensions that the Asus one has. It's really small, so you don't have a comfortable uh, grip when you're holding it. The, you can use also game controllers, which also connects using the USB-A. For that, obviously, you need a dongle and also the adapter. You can use this simple USB-C to USB-A adapter, or you can use the USB-C hub where you get also HDMI port. You can get also micro SD card or SD card and also more like a USB-A ports here. These are really essential. If you use such a devices, you can get a hub and you can extend your ports. You can also use the flash drives and the USB sticks that you have. Also, you can use external hard drives because of the file manager that this Chrome OS has. It's really easy to use that. And if you have a mouse that it has also USB receiver, you can also connect these USB receiver to these adapters and you can use it as well. So it works. Let's nice. sum up this video and compare these two devices. I also mark them green for the part that I think they perform better. Asus CM3 has a better display in my opinion. It includes this 45 adapter inside of the box. It has also the pen inside of the box. It comes with a better keyboard with a better key travel. It has audio jack which gives also better sound quality. If you're using the headphone jacks, that's also important. If you're using a wireless, so that should not be important for you. The build quality I found also is a little better. It has also this two-way stand, which is also extra feature. And it generally performs better in the desktop mode. The Lenovo one on the other side, it has a better brightness. It weights less, so it feels better when you're using in the tablet mode because it's weightless and the edges are a bit smooth here, so it doesn't bother your palm here. 
The trackpad is a small, but it's silent. So the Asus one had a trackpad, which was a little bit loud. That's a little bit annoying for me. And the Lenovo one, in my opinion, has a better speakers. They sound a little bit richer. For the last part of this video, I will talk about the pricing. The Duet costs 329 euro, and the Asus one, which is here, it costs 449 euro for 64 gigabyte variant. So there's a price difference of 120 euro. If you ask me if I will upgrade from the Lenovo to this device for, to the Asus CM3, I would say no, because the improvements are not enough for me to pay this money. In future, if they have better performance and also the display output gets better, which I could get full HD with 60 Hertz, then I will upgrade my Lenovo one. But if you're looking to buy a new one and you're between these two devices, I could understand that you could use also the, you could choose the Asus one because of the better desktop features and all the green parts that I marked here are better in the Asus. So that also makes sense for this price difference if you're willing to pay this uh, higher money. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.